And when he heard this story, he said, man, you must be a head honcho of happiness, you know? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want to be a head honcho of happiness, you know? So immediately I'm like, wait a second, maybe I can be a chief happiness officer, you know? When I'm feeling down, I can't win for a strong cup of coffee. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another exciting episode of Travel with the Chiefs. My name is Jim Meyer, Broker Associate at Remax Gold. And now you have a friend in the real estate business. I'm here with my good friend, Jim T. Chung, the walk star. Now you have a friend in the publicity business. And we've got Edwin Edebiri. Am I pronouncing your name right, Edwin? Uh, he is the chief happiness officer and Jim and I sometimes forget to be happy and so we've got G uh, Edwin here to help us with uh, our happiness but first let me ask Jim Jim are you drinking some coffee this morning I absolutely do and I have pictures of my dinner on there little cats okay so good. I just wanted to let you know right there and my coffee is real cool because it's actually um you know we usually Panera bread this is like home brewed coffee so it's really good so in other words you're not going to walk the dog tonight you're going to walk the cat um that's Edward, correct what are you drinking well you know i i do i do like tea okay uh -huh. uh, but for this show i decide hey let me just drink you know some caffeinated coffee or something like that and it came all the way from Indian, all right? Oh, you wow. know, wow. so so it was a special gift. I'm like, hey, you know what, sis? I don't usually drink coffee. If I'm going to drink it, let me drink a very special one. So that's really what is going on. That. I'm drinking some special coffee. My coffee is very successful. And you're probably going to say, how successful is it? It is so successful, Joe Scarborough wants to apologize to it. So Edwin... Let me ask you a question, my friend. Can you tell us a little bit about your journey and how you became a chief happiness officer? Yeah, thank you so very much for having me on your show. It's really, you know, it's a treat. I mean, you know, me and Jim go way back, you know. And I also remember, you know, you doing some acting stuff and me coming to watch that. So we both go way back, you know. Yes, we appreciate so, so, so I remember that. Now, so the journey to... Chief Happiness Officer was a very exciting one. You know, it was back in the, in the during the recession. You know, I just woke up one day and, went, you know, I do a lot of meditation. So I got out from one of the meditation sessions, just went out, you know, into the, the street. And as I got into the car, I was like, okay, what do I do? I was really excited. Now, I'm always excited, no question about that. But that particular day was even more exciting and so I end up in the Benz and Noble bookstore, which is one of my favorite places because I love to read, you know. And uh, and as I'm coming in, there is there was a couple at their Starbucks, you know, talking about coffee and stuff like that. There was a couple in the Starbucks. They were having a very intense altercation, okay? And you would think they were in their living room. And everybody were, like, really trying very hard to mind their business, you know. And so as I got in, I saw this going on. I told myself subconscious. I said, hey, you know what, Edwin? You better mind your business just like everybody else, okay? Yeah. As I said that, subconsciously, that message was reversed, okay? <laughs> you know? And, and, and I dropped my computer and my stuff on the table, and I walked straight to the couple as if I was in a zombie state. And I said, hey, can I ask you guys a quick question? And they look at me like, don't you know what's going on? You know, we're at each other's throat and you're coming to interrupt it, you know? And, uh, and, and of course, you know, the lady goes, okay, go ahead, really quick, okay? Because we're gonna get back to this business of shouting on each other, you know? And so I said, on a scale of one to 10, how happy are you guys today? <laughs> you could have had a pin drop 
in the Starbucks, okay? Wow. And wow. the couple look at me, not exactly sure what to do with me. And then eventually they just decided to just follow with what I say. So they gave, they gave me a number. And I, I told them, I said, these numbers are not really that bad. So hold on one second. So I went back to my table, grabbed a notepad and, uh, and a pen. And I came back to them and I said, hey, with a score like this, there got to be something you guys are thankful for or happy about. And so, hey, can you just give me one item, maybe, you know? And so she took the notepad from me. She wrote down three things. And so I tear it up and I gave it to him. He wrote down three things. And when I look at both things they wrote, I screamed. And the whole Starbucks was awake now. <laughs> and then I turned the piece of paper to them and they read it. And both of them have said not only the exact same thing, but they have said it in the same order. Oh, wow. And wow. so I said to them, I said, come on. At that, back then, I've been married like 21 years. I said, if my life depended on it, I couldn't say the same three things with my wife, not to talk of in the same order. So there's something you guys have in common. So why are you at each other's truth when you can focus on these three things? And so they smile. And I said, now that's a good start, you know? And then, and then I, I, and I said, okay, hey, hey, you know what? You guys got to pay me for this. This is too much risk. You know, you guys got to pay me for this. Yeah. So, of course, they're thinking it's money. Maybe, hey, this guy must have really came here to try to charge us some money or stuff. I said, no, 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 no. This is way more than money. You have to at least give me a hug, you know? Oh. And so she said, sure, I'll give you a hug. So she gave me a hug very easily. Yeah. And then she was done. The guy goes, sure, I'll give you a hug too. Yeah. And the guy gave me a hug. And then the wife shouted and said, wait a second, he doesn't even hug anybody, you know? <laughs> So the whole Starbucks started clapping, you know. And I said, hey guys, you know, recession is tough on everybody, but you guys don't have to be on each other's throat, you know, find some common yep. ground. So I, I left them and picked my computer and walked right out. And then it was when I got into the car, I realized, wait a second, is that all I came to Starbucks <laughs> to base a number to do? <laughs> you know, you know? Yeah, and I'm that's sure. where everything changed, you know. And now then there's a young man that I met in one of my seminars immediately after that. And when he heard his story, he said, man, you must be a head honcho of happiness, you know? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want to be a head honcho of happiness, you know? So immediately I'm like, wait a second, maybe I can be a chief happiness officer, you know? So that's how the whole thing started. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is great. Now, we're going to come back tomorrow, and Jim has a great question for you. Will you come back tomorrow uh, so we can talk to you again? I I'm ready to be back. All right. We'll see. Awesome. Or maybe the next day, uh, too. Who knows? All right. We'll see you guys again for another exciting episode of Java with the Jims.